What's going on guys and welcome to the next crack -a pack video today We are opening up a pack of return to Ravnica one of my favorite sets Honestly, uh, I love the flavor of Ravnica in general and I think the return while it wasn't necessarily the value train and as good as the original Original excuse me Ravnica. Uh, it still was actually really fun to draft and actually play with so I'm excited to open this uh, Sitting in at the top in terms of value uh, of course steam vents is up there as well as chromatic lantern uh, and actually Cyclonic Rift is up there as well. Uh, quite a few good cards. Obviously any of the Shocklands would be fantastic. I think one time we actually opened a Steam Vents. Uh, so I'm pretty excited. Hopefully we can get something else. Uh, but of course we're going to look at this from a limited environment. So we're going to see pack one, pick one, what we would actually take from it. Uh, of course that means we will go through every card uh, and actually read them out and figure out what the best one will be. Uh, I will go ahead and say I am by no means a draft master. I am not great at this uh, in terms of always knowing the best card. So I'll do my best, but please, if you disagree with me, let me know in the comment section below. That is perfectly fine. Uh, so our first comment here is cancel a classic counter spell. It's an instant for one and two blue, and it literally just says counter target spell. Uh, definitely a playable card in a blue tempo deck. I would not want to first pick it by any means, uh, but it's always kind of an okay card uh, in limited specifically. Uh, Swift Justice is an instant uh, for one white until the end of the turn. Target creature gets plus one plus zero and gains first strike and lifelink. Uh, obviously a decent combat trick. Uh, any one mana combat trick up to two mana is really where I feel like the sweet spot is. Uh, three kind of gets to be a bit much sometimes, but obviously it's a little bit worth it depending on what you actually get off of the card. Uh, this one is perfectly fine, but again, it's a combat trick. I would not want to first pick it. Uh, Druid's Deliverance is one and a green for an instant. Prevent all combat damage that would be dealt to you this turn, and you also populate, uh, which means put a token onto the battlefield that's a copy of a creature token you already control. Uh, this is okay, I feel like. I don't know. I think the populate kind of makes it okay. Uh, generally, I really don't like fog effects because, especially in limited, that's just not what you really want to be doing. Uh, but the populate mechanic actually helps this to be maybe playable in a token deck. Uh, that being said, I don't know if I'd actually want to play that, to be honest. Uh, Electricery, uh, the best card in Magic. An instant for one red, deals uh, one damage to target creature you don't control, and you can overload it for one and a red to deal one damage to every creature you don't control. Uh, this card is not actually that good. I think it's sideboard tech uh, against certain decks with tokens, uh, specifically the 1-1 one -one flying birds. Uh, but other than that, it's really not that good. Uh, definitely a constructed card for certain decks. <laughs> um, Hacer Patrol is a 2-4 for 4. Uh, it has Flash and Vigilance. I actually kind of like this card. I don't like that it's a little underpowered. Uh, just for, with 2 power, that's pretty low. Uh, but the Flash and Vigilance actually comes in handy, and it does have a big butt, so the Vigilance is worth it. Uh, so far, that's definitely the pick, although I will say, so far, we have not had very good cards. Uh, Grizzly Salvage, a card I love, but again, for Constructed, really. It's an incident for a black and a green. Reveal the top five cards of your library. Uh, you may put a creature or land card from among them into your hand. Uh, put the rest into your graveyard. Obviously, there are instances where this is a good card. Uh, the Scavenge uh, Golgari deck is fantastic with this, uh, but I think this is more of an enabler, and I'd rather have the creatures first, so I don't think I'd really want to pick this first. Uh, speaking of Scavenge, so... Uh, Karazda Monitor. Uh, my apologies, by the way. I am very bad at pronouncing things, but this is a 3-3 Trampler for 4. It also has Scavenge for 5 and 2 green, uh, which basically means you pay the cost and you exile this card from your graveyard, and you put that many plus 1 plus 1 counters uh, on target creature equal to this card's power, so it would be 3. Uh, this gives your deck longevity, which is great. Uh, it gives you a good way to overpower the opponent, and I honestly think uh, it's kind of a toss-up between these two, although I think this card actually might uh, overrun both of them. So, Runewing is the next card. It is a 2-2 flyer for 4. Yes, I know that doesn't sound amazing, but when it dies, you draw a card. Uh, that's actually pretty powerful, in my opinion. Obviously, Evasion is great. Uh, this is, in my opinion, a really, really good card, so I would probably take that so far over everything we've gotten. But then again, okay, Stab Wound. <laughs> uh, I really like this card, too. So, this is an enchantment for two and a black. You enchant a creature. The enchanted creature gets minus two, minus two. And at the beginning of the upkeep of the enchanted creature's controller, that player loses two life. This can actually win games by itself. It's a really, really powerful card from this set. Uh, you enchant a creature on your opponent's side of the field, obviously. Uh, bring it down to a manageable uh, power and toughness. 
uh, that you can just kind of stave it off for a few turns and then let this deal the rest of the damage that you need to do. Really, really like that card. Uh, and this is actually another one that I kind of like. So Knightly Valor, Enchanted Creature uh, for four and a white. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, put a 2-2 White Knight Creature token with Vigilance onto the battlefield. Uh, the Enchanted Creature gets plus two, plus two, and has Vigilance. This bypasses my issue for the most part uh, with Enchanted Creatures, which is that normally it opens you up for a two for one, and still technically, yes, this kind of does, but uh, this spits out another token, which makes it a little bit more worth it. Uh, it's also actually just a really powerful card. Plus two, plus two, and Vigilance is great and limited. Uh, I think I would prefer Stab Wound, to be honest, uh, just because I really like that card and I've had experiences with that card. So I think I'd still pick that, but again, Knightly Valor, fantastic card. Uh, Civic Saber, Artifact for one. It is an equipment for one uh, colorless. Uh, uh, you Equip Creature gets plus one, plus zero for each of its colors. Obviously, this is a multicolor set. Uh, and so normally you're going to get at least two uh, plus two plus oh uh, out of this card. Probably pretty decent as a filler card, but I definitely wouldn't really want to first pick something like that. Uh, Skymark Rock is a 3-3 three, three for four with flying already pretty good. Uh, when it attacks, you may return target creature defending player controls with toughness two or less to its owner's hand. Uh, that definitely blows out the stab wound. This card is fantastic. It's a repeatable tempo swing. Uh, as well as just an evasive threat, so I really, really like that. Ooh, Azorius Charm is great. Uh, so a white and a blue for an instant. You get to choose one of these options. Uh, creatures you control gain lifelink until end of the turn, or draw a card, or put attacking or blocking creature on top of its owner's library. Uh, I love the fact that this is very lucrative. You can use it in a lot of different ways. On top of that, it is actually just really powerful. I still think I would pick, uh, I would take the rock over it, uh, but I would definitely want this card in the same deck for sure. Uh, Counterflux, two blue and a red for an instant. It cannot be countered by targets, uh, by spells or abilities, excuse me. Uh, counter target spell you don't control and you can overload it to counter all the spells you don't control uh, on the stack. This card's interesting, not very good in my opinion, uh, especially in limited. There is a place occasionally for constructed, but outside of that, not very good. Uh, so for me, the pick is definitely the rock. Uh, this card is really, really good in my opinion. Uh, it definitely has some synergies with other things too, which is great. Uh, and the fact that blue-white is kind of one of my favorite archetypes from this set, so I would definitely want to go for it. So that's my pick. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and a comment down below. And as always, please make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of our awesome content. But I'm going to get out of here. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next Crack-A-Pack video.